that? Is this you? No. It's not you? No, no. Sure, because uh, so I'm pretty sure you're here to meet a 13 year old girl. Is this, are you wearing this shirt right now? You asked well, if she's a, a virgin and you, you say, do you want to have sex? If you want, you can call, call cops. I don't have any ablution like. Nope. Your boy Vignan was really hesitant to call the cops, so I had to do it for him. What up, y'all? It's uh, your boy Skeeter Jane back at you with some more Predator pasta. And we've got a saucy one here for you today, so be sure to grab your fork, napkin, and a uh, glass of wine. Now, when we saw this Predator, he was wearing a mask and glasses and a hat, and he had his hair all wrapped up trying to be very discreet safe to say he was being very protective of his identity and speaking of protection this video is actually sponsored by atlas vpn now atlas vpn is going to be one of the best vpns you can use to encrypt the connection between the internet and whatever device you may be using with atlas vpn you can enjoy the most affordable online protection for just a dollar 99 a month and if you don't enjoy it for whatever reason, they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. You really can't go wrong here. Not to mention, you can protect all of your devices with Atlas VPN. And it blocks ads and stops malware. It can even save you money by getting you the best deals while you're shopping online. So, say you want to watch uh, Shrek on Netflix. But the problem is you live in North Korea, and Kim Jong-un just doesn't get down with ogres like that. All you've got to do is open up the Atlas VPN app on whatever device you're on, turn it on, and change your location to somewhere else. And boom, no one will ever find out that you watch Shrek on Netflix. And don't forget guys, Atlas VPN is currently running a huge discount. Right now you can get a three year subscription for only $1.99 per month. It's, it's really a no brainer. But time is running out, so be sure to secure that deal and click on the link in the description below. You won't regret it. Now, uh, back to the video. All right, so this here is uh, our boy uh, Vignan, I think is how you say his name. I uh, found him on the Hinge app. Here he says uh, in his bio, his greatest strength is himself. But I don't think he has a lot of strength in himself because he didn't have the strength to call the police right then and there. So I, yeah, I had to do it for him. So, you know, well, I don't know. Uh, he's looking pretty classy with the beard and full head of hair and the glasses. And I think the blazer, the gray blazer here is a, a really nice touch, you know. Uh, he's 30 years old. He's five foot eight. And he's a uh, software developer. Looks like he went to the University of Cumberland's. Pretty impressive uh, profile he's got there. And he's from India, so exotic, you know. And here he says, uh, you look adorable. Uh, the girl asks him, are you okay with younger? He says, yeah, age is just a number. She says, uh, okay, I'm in eighth grade. Here he asks, uh, how old are you? Uh, the girl tells him 13. And here he even says, according to law, you need to be 18 with a sweat drip emoji. Here the, uh, the girl says that she's tired, and he says, Aw, babe is so tired. You need cuddle? Is, is what, he, what he says here. And then here he says, So when you are horny, what, uh, what do you do? I think is what he meant to say here. Here he says, uh, Do you want to uh, have sex? Sex is a very good feeling. He asked the girl, Do you watch porn? He says, porn is not good. It is so addictive. Here he says, if you see more porn videos, you will have more desire to have sex. So I, I, I will not recommend it. That's what, that's what he says. Uh, he asked the girl uh, when she wants to meet up. He says, we can go to a movie. Uh, the girl says, uh, do you want to do anything after? He says, uh, he says sure. He says, uh, cuddle, kissing and whatever you want, sweetie. Now, uh, Vegan in here didn't say a whole lot sexual in the chats here, but he did say enough, and he knew that he shouldn't have been meeting up with a 13-year-old to begin with, so. 
Now, basically what happened was, after I was done uh, questioning him about the conversation he was having, uh, you know, he noticed, you know, we were recording the whole thing. He was concerned with what we were going to be doing with the footage. I'm guessing he, he didn't want it getting out there. So uh, he insisted that the uh, police be called. And I even told him, you know, I'd, you know, I'd rather not bother them with this because, you know, there's no crime being committed here technically, okay? Usually when I call the police, they just get their, uh, their ID and um, they send them on their way and we kind of go f from there. They, they usually don't get arrested or anything, so. Now I told Vignan, I said, you know, I'd rather not call the police. We can just get your license plate and I can forward everything I have over to the detective bureau at Taylor PD and we can just go from there. But he just insisted that the police be called because we were re recording him, I think was, was his, his main concern. And after him stalling for about 20 minutes and me continuously asking him if he's going to call the police, I suggested to call the police for him, to which he agreed to. Uh, Vignan came up with this story that uh, he wasn't intending to do anything sexual with the girl. He was actually going to mentor her and he was going to let uh, the girl's parents know about what she was doing, which is just totally, totally BS. I mean, come on. He tried telling this to the officer that was talking to him and he just wasn't buying it. So after I went through the conversation with Vignan, the police officer also did the same thing. So it's, it's almost like he, he got skeeted twice in one night. It's kind of crazy. You know, the officer was trying to find out what he was there to do with the girl, and Vignan just kept lying. So at some point, uh, the officer had enough of it and decided to put him in the handcuffs and take him away, which surprised me. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I got for you guys on this one. Um, if you want to support the channel and what I'm doing, be sure to head over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash skeetergene where you'll be able to read the full chat logs and get a few more exclusive uh, benefits there. All right, guys, I'm Skeeter Gene, and I'm out. Hope you enjoy this dose of Predator pasta. All right, boys, uh, Skeet Hansen here. Uh, we're, right now we're waiting outside the parking lot, uh, outside the mire, waiting for our potential Predator here. His name is uh, Vignan or something like that. He's like this, this yeah, long-haired... little office here zoom here. Oh, he's a he's a Chad. Look at this guy. Yeah, look, yeah. See that that long hair and that that must that pedal. It's a dream, dude. Yeah, that's that Amber Alert mustache he's got going on. Shoutouts to that. And hey, look, look, look at that hair. Look how long his hair is. It's like creeping down the middle of his nose, past his lip and shit. Total Chad here, if you ask me. But anyway, he was talking about things like uh, cuddling and asked the girl if uh, she had sex before. She's thirteen, so. And right now he's here to pick her up in the Walmart in the video game section. To uh, take her to see a movie. Predator Hunting Grounds, I see. Yeah, yeah. He's a man gonna, of culture. Yeah, he's going to pick up Predator Hunting Grounds, I think. God damn it, I forgot my badge. It's all oh, well. It's all right. Is that, is that him rolling up? Oh, Who's no, this? No, what we got? What we no got? Shot, we got? No, no, shot, no, can't shot, be. Still don't know what he's driving. No now, three minutes ago, Decoy just said that he's 12 minutes out. So we got about uh, got about nine minutes until he shows up if my math is uh, correct. So... All right, boys, we're here sitting in the dark. I don't know who this guy is that just uh, pulled up right here. Looks kind of creepy. Um, might actually no be our guy. Shot. He kind of no looks, shot. get the camera. That was a beard, bro. Oh, get, get, get the camera, get, that record it, him. record it. That was him. That might be him, zoom in on that. That could actually be him. That should be him right here. Now he said he's wearing this uh, Tommy Hilfiger uh, long, okay. long uh, shirt. Keep, keep it on, keep it yeah, on this yeah. car here, no. bro. That's what he's wearing. All right, all right. That, that, that might be him. That Why do they always pull him. up in front of I us now? I don't know. Bro, there's no way. That's, that's gotta be him. Decoy said he, he, he's here. He just got here. Well, I think he's about to I, get I out. I think he's about to get out. Yep, lights there. He's chilling. He's big chilling. He's probably don't want to. Why is he getting back in the car? Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Have you seen us, did you? No. There's no way. No. Way to be getting closer. No. Okay, now he's getting a different he's parking spot. He's moving. He's moving his parking spot. All right, boys. 
That looks like it might be him. He's maybe. out. He's out. Might be him. Looks like he's trying to shoot him, maybe, or something. Like it's like, okay, he's walking in. Yeah, he's looking at his phone. It's gotta be him. It's gotta be him. Gotta be him. There's no I'll shot. Get, get, we're gonna give it a couple minutes, and yeah. then, like, let him. All right, that's who we're looking for right here. Long hair, long hair Indian dude. Hey. How you doing? This might be him right here. How you doing, sir? You, you looking for a predator, predator uh, hunting grounds, the game, or? What's that? Were you looking for predator hunting grounds? What do you mean by that? Predator hunting grounds, the game, is that, is that what you're kind of looking for? Who, who, who are you here to meet? Well, th this be your picture, right? You're, you're ve Vignan? Be Vignan, right? What's that? Is this you? No. It's not you? No, no. Sure, because... Uh, so I'm pretty sure you're here to meet a 13-year-old girl. Is this, are you wearing this shirt right now? Please try again. Okay. Looks like you forgot to turn your GPS off too. Is it? That's the shirt you're wearing, right? Okay. Maybe you can show me the. If you're wearing a Tommy Hilfiger shirt, that's for sure you. What's going on, sir? That's you, right? You're, well, you're here to meet a 13 year old girl, right? No, sir. No? Who, who are you here to meet then? I'm here for groceries, sir. You're here for what? For groceries. Home dressings? For groceries, sir. I don't think so. Looks like looks like that. this is. I'm pretty sure this is you. And from my understanding, you're here, you're here to meet a 13 year old girl. So, no, sir. well, here you, you talk, you do talk about cuddling in the conversation. So that'd be your phone number? Yeah. So, so this must be you. This is who the 13 year old girl was talking to, who you're here to meet. So, I just want to get into this. So, what makes you think it's okay to ask a 13 year old girl if she's horny? And here you say, is she horny? And he asks what she wants to do. So, and I understand you're here to bring her to see a movie. Yeah, take this outside, brother. Oh, okay, take it outside. Okay, okay. okay yeah. If you, if I have a few more questions for you. If you. Do you want to? Do you want to come outside with us? Yeah. So we can question you. Yeah. So we, we do give all our information over to the police when we when we do these things. So. Yes. So um. Oh, well, well, if you if you want. Like yeah, yeah, we're going we're going right outside. You're not buying anything, right? Because because you're because you're here to meet a 13 year old girl. So. No, sir. Like he said, like uh, he, she, she she said what? You can go like that. What's that? You can go like uh, outside. Yeah, yeah, we can we can go outside and have the conversation. Play, yeah. Sure, lead the way. Just just right out the doors. Well, he, here you say, so when you're horny, what do you do? Is, is what you was it what you asked her. So why why'd you why'd you want to know that? You're you're what? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this here. You, you ask her if she's a virgin, and she she told you she was 13, and you're here to meet her right now. So you ask her if she wants to have sex. Here, like right, right here is what is when you ask her that. You well, uh, you talk about how, you know, how sex is a very, it's a very good feeling, and you even ask her if, if she watches porn. So I mean, what's what's you know what's the deal with that? So, me, everyone, this man's here to meet a 13-year-old girl. So that's that's what's going on here. He's here to meet a 13-year-old girl. Just let everyone know. Now, what's going on here? He, he's here to meet a 13-year-old girl. So now, Vina, can, can I talk to you just right here? Is that okay? Oh yeah, now, now they're outside. I just want to know you. Okay. Here you. Sir, like she's at like 18. So. Away from the door. Yeah, no problem. We'll just go down here a little bit more. Right by the recycling area. So we're probably about to recycle this guy's career in a minute. So, uh, if you want to just, uh, so, if I can sir, ask okay, you, sir. Okay, uh, so, so okay, who like, are who are you here to meet? Sir, like, uh, can I show? You, uh, 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 like, can I show you your ID? Like, sure. Your ID? What's that? Like, who are you? Like, oh, I'm with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. You could uh, keep your hands out of your pockets for yeah, us. Yes, please. I, I, I happen to forget my, my badge today, but, you know, I, I need to see the ID, like. My ID? ID. We, we don't carry ID. We're just the Predatorial I mean, Investigation Unit. The yeah. Look, who, are, who are you guys, like? We're the Predatorial Investigation Unit. We're a privately owned and operated organization that uh, specializes no, in. Unless, like, you show the ID, like, I'm not going to. What's that? Like. Just show your ID, like, so who are you, like? For the Predatorial Investigation Unit. Yes, sir. We, we work with the police. Yes, sir. Can I uh, show yeah. your ID, please? Uh, sir, we, we, don't, we, we don't do that here. We just yeah, work we with the police. We don't show our photo IDs. Yes, sir. Sorry. Okay, you are concerned about why you're here to meet a 13-year-old girl. I would think so, sir. Did you want us to call the police? 
and I mean, let them know what you're doing. I mean, we're we're gonna forward the information over to them anyway. But here you you ask if she's a a virgin, and you you say, do you want to have sex? Okay, can you elaborate on that? Why you thought it was okay to do that? To ask for that? No, it's not okay. No, you don't have anything to. I want to, you know, like uh, educate that girl, like so, what's going on, you know. You want to see what's going on? Yeah. With the girl. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Well, you yeah, asked her. I'm a grown up man, and like I know the rules and regulations and all of this. Stuff. You are. Like, you don't need okay. to do like that. Okay. Okay. So, because so you do like know she, that it's. She, she, like she, you know. Like, so, uh, so you know it's illegal to say this to a 13 year old girl and try to yeah you know, meet up with her. I know her. the rules and regulations and all of this stuff. Okay, so you're aware of that what you're doing is wrong. See, I'm not here. You know, I'm here to educate the girl. Actually, like, you're here to to do what? Who's that? You you're here to do what? I'm here to educate her. Actually. To educate, you're here to educate her. Yeah. What were you, what were you gonna educate her on? Hmm? What were you going to educate her on? See, this is wrong. Tell her you were gonna tell her it's wrong. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's so, true. so that must be why you asked her if she was a virgin and if she watches porn and if she's had sex before. Am I right? Who's that? Well, which, with what you were gonna teach her, what, what do these lessons uh, consist of? Is what I want to know because you talk about porn and. You talk about sex. See, that's what. You like, say, yeah. Okay, nowadays, you know, the kids, they're totally, you know, like, yeah. they're into, uh, like, uh, like, coming to in, in the social media. When yeah, they're into social post, media, okay, right. Uh, when you come to this, the TikTok and all of this stuff, right? Uh-huh. You know, people are, you know, uh, they're posting, like, uh, unnecessary contents. Okay. Right? They're, uh, they're right. posting unnecessary contents. Yeah, just, you're saying unnecessary to, things no, no, to a 13-year-old you know, girl. Well, looks just like. say what I'm saying. Because, okay. you know, nowadays, they are totally, you know, uh, I want to complain to her parents, really. To do what? I need to complain to her parents. because You want to contact her parents? Yeah, because she's okay. doing totally wrong. Well, why, why don't we contact the police and then they can contact the parents? Sure, sir. You want to do that? Sure, sir. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no problem. And then you, you say that uh, if you see more porn videos, you will have desire to have sex, is, is what you say. See, that's what. See, I'm telling, I'm, I'm telling yeah. to educate her, like, you know. You're trying to educate her with, as far as sex. Yes, sir. See, even I can tell to cops. That's not a problem, sir. You can do what? If you want, you can call, call cops. I don't have any objection. Like, okay. You know, she's going in a totally wrong way. Okay. She is. But what about you? What? Aren't you going about this in a totally wrong way? See, I mean, that's, you're... that's what, sir. I'm telling, like, you know, I want to educate her. Like, so this is not a right way. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is not not right way yeah. to do that. Like, okay. Like, no, this isn't this. the right way to, to meet up with someone. She's 13. Yes, sir. Like, that's what. Like, you know, I told her, like, you know, uh, like. Uh, uh, I need to, you know, tell about the parents, like, you know. Tell her parents. Right After kid. you said that you want to kiss her and cuddle with her, you were going to tell her parents. See, this that's is, what's your so plan. You know, uh, when we meet the person, right, the person we can, we can, uh, you know, we can explain uh, better understanding for that, like, you know. Sure, sure. Exactly. So if you sure. want, you can call the cops. That's not a problem for me. Okay. Yeah. I, yes, I see here you, 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 you do like, like skiing, it seems like here. Oh, yes. Sir. Okay, well, well, you've just been skied so you know my, my name is Skeeter Hansen so that's kind of what just happened there mm -hmm. I you say she has a uh, soft skin and you want to watch Netflix with her and a warm blanket so it seems I mean you, you see how, how this looks yes, and then you say you want, that you oh, say you're okay. feeling horny if you, if you want you can call the cops sir. That's, I, I can explain you know okay see I'm here not to do anything like that. Okay. okay so so you want me to call the cops right now is that, yeah, yes, that what you're saying Absolutely. okay sure yes sir so you want to explain to them what, the what you're doing? Press one. Yes, sir. Okay, For gotcha. For the special operations division, press two. For the victim advocate, press three. For the domestic violence prosecutor, press four. Close. I, would, I, I wouldn't go the 911 emergency route because, I mean, you know, there's no crime being committed on premises right now, but, you know, the intent is, you know, obviously there. You know, we... We, we do yes, report sir, all of our that. that's not a problem, yeah. right, and we, we yes. do report all of our you know our findings to yes, the sir. to the police afterward. Yes, sir. So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, is, is there anything else you have to say for yourself, Vignan? Is if that's how you say your name? Yes, sir. Because like, see, nowadays you know the kids are totally okay. Uh, how TikTok too, like you know, uh -huh. small for children. I need to educate them. Like seriously. you need to educate them sexually. Yeah. You need to educate them. Not the sexually. Well, that's what you were talking about. No, Talking about like, how horny you, know, you are in porn and all see, that. See, not uh, you're taking in a wrong way. Like that's there's, not there's the main intention. Wrong way. You had a sexual charge conversation with a minor. There's nothing. There's no wrong way to take that. 
You understand that? So there's only one. I think there's so only one way to take it. State of so. Michigan, having a sexually charged conversation with a minor, you could be looking between five to ten years behind bars and register as a sex offender for the rest of your life. You understand that? Right? You like who's this for? How you doing? Uh, so I'm, my supporters, here, it looks here, like. Here's your badge for us, by the yeah. way. Yeah, they 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 know what's up. What's they, going they, on they here? They know us and they know our work. There, there's okay. your confirmation for us. Sure, so. do, do, do you watch? Do you watch a lot of social media and YouTube, vegan? Yeah. Yes, sort of. Yeah. Uh, have you seen? Uh, having to see any of my um, investigations online or anything like no. that? No. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial mm -hmm. Investigation Unit. Mm -hmm. um, you've just been skeeted, and right now we're doing an online series about adults who try to meet up with. Uh, kids online for sex mm -hmm. and um so this what was i'm saying like you know, nowadays like they're totally you know right it's wrong, yeah. yeah yes you are what you're doing is wrong yes so Not me, um, sir. Like, my you don't think, think you're wrong. doing anything wrong no okay well you know we're gonna i'm gonna email everything over to you know the detective i work with at taylor pd and we'll we'll see what what he thinks about all of this yes sir all right sure. um and um if there's anything else you, you have to say, Vignan, we you know we we love to love to hear it. Do you want to answer your phone? Who's calling you there? I don't know. Something new number. New number. Okay. So that that's not the the girl you were talking to. Like I said, you're uh, you're free to go. We'll just get your license plate, and we'll all be on our way here. What you're going to do? Like, if you want, we can. Uh, okay. We're we're just going to report. We're going to report everything okay. to Taylor PD. Can I call to 911? Can you what? Can I call to 9 Yeah, you can do whatever you want. If you want. So what's your number? Uh, we, we don't have a number, sir. We're a private, oh, okay. privately owned and operated organization. Okay, like, do you have, like, any websites and all of this stuff? Like, so uh, no, we're, we're, we're so private that we don't even have a website, sir. So I need any confirmation regarding that. Like, at least give your number or otherwise. We, we don't have a number, sir. Really? Yes, really. Why? We work with Taylor PD sometimes. Okay, like if you have any, like okay, you are you are working for authority, right? Like no official authority. So definitely, nope. you guys will have some, you know, uh, his number and all of this stuff. No, we don't. We don't work with any kind of authorities or anything like that. We're just a privately owned and operated organization. Yeah, we just work in conjunction with the police. We don't actually work for them. They don't work for us. We just work. In That's it. We just do the investigating and see if uh, you know guys like you are going to actually come and try to meet up with minors and. And give the uh, you know the rest of the information to them. I did not uh, say that, like you know. You did not what? I'm not here for do the all this stuff, okay? Well, why'd you talk about it then? If you're not here to do it. Who's that? Why are you? Why did you talk about it when because you were texting? I want, to, I want to educate her. Not. So you didn't want to do any of that stuff. No. Is what you're saying? So it, it was all just it was just just talk. Why would I do that? Like, I'm I, not that's what I'm here to find out. That's, that's why would I do because that? you thought you were meeting a 13 year old girl. Not like that. Well, like what then? What you want to? What was your plan here when you got here and a thirteen-year-old girl was here? See, uh, directly I'll take to her uh, home. And, you what? Uh, take her to her room? Home, her home. Oh, you were gonna take drive her home? For that, for that dad, like. To her dad and let her yeah. her parents know what she was yeah, what she was doing. What she's doing and all okay. This is not a you know, you know, big man. That that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I mean, why not just stop talking to her entirely? Or report it to the authorities if you were that worried about it. If I do that, like... Uh, why, why even come up right? Why even uh, come up here to me? I, that's what I'm not getting. Mm -hmm. do, do, you, do you want to call 911? And, it, it sounds like okay. you're worried about, you know, the girls' uh, safety okay, and you, education okay. and all you, that. You said that you work for the cops, right? No, we don't work for them. We work, we work in conjunction with them. So we take all of our gatherings, all our findings, and these investigations okay, and send your, it to them. Like, uh, can I get your uh, website? Like, so for about sir, the we don't. Time, we don't have a website. Sir, we don't have any. We don't have any of that. We we're very private. Mm -hmm. So what's the next step? Yeah, uh, we were just going to make sure that you, uh, so you are leave the, this on the social media and all this stuff. Doing what? Uh, y yes, just to make you know people aware yeah. of you know the. General, the you know the I'm general community. Any authorized for that, like you know. Oh, that's fine. You don't have. To. That's not I mean, a fine. That's fine. We we actually don't need that. No, not not at all. We really don't. Because I can tell you right now, if you want to go ahead and say you don't have authorization, I guess you're gonna have to talk to the cops. And they're gonna want to know why you're not giving authorization. And the reason why you're not giving authorization is because you're giving me a 13 year old girl to have sex. It's gonna look real bad for you to do that. He's, he's got a point there. So do you want to do you want to talk to the police? 
Like, okay, do you want to talk to the police about it? It sounds like you want to talk to the police. Yeah. Okay, well, be my guest. You can go ahead and dial 911. We'll, we'll wait here. Something is going on, actually. So just tell me, like, what's going on? Well, you tell me what's going on with you. You're here to meet a 13 year old girl, so. Do you need me to do it for you, Vignan? You can do it. You want me to call 911 for you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I'm going to report to them what you're doing. So you can do it. Okay. Sure. Hi, how old are you, Vignan? What's your age again? Late Taylor 911, where's your emergency? Hi, we're at the uh, Walmart and Taylor off Telegraph Road. I'd like to report a uh, grown man who is here to meet a 13-year-old girl for uh, sex, presumably. Are you with those parties right now? Yes, you stand here right in front of me. Did you set him up to come meet you? Uh, yeah, yes, we, we run a sting operation, and uh, he, he had a few concerns, so he was wanting to know himself if uh, the police could come up here, so. Okay, we'll get somebody out to you, okay? Okay, appreciate it. Bye. Hello. How are you doing? What's going on? Got a right, I'd like you. No, this guy. All right, you? You come with me. This one. Who called? Uh, I called. All right, people want to call. Okay, Sure. Yep. I'll keep this side. Yeah, I'll keep this side. Alright, I got the phone in my hand, right? And I got all the messages in my hand. You got one more thing. Alright, what happened? Yeah, dude. Okay, alright, alright. Alright, boys, so the uh, the predator is right over to my right here. Uh, the police officer over there just uh, yelled at him a little bit, gave him a stern talking to. It seems like it had him uh, take a seat right there, which is ironic. I was going to have him do that myself, yeah. but you know, I thought that was my job. You know? Right. Who, who, who's that guy I think he is? We don't get paid enough, apparently. We apparently not. Apparently not. No. They all know us. They were all of them. They all had to make a straight line. I wasn't lying. I had the message right here. Let's be realistic. Because I have the message for you. The chat logs don't lie. Oh, he's getting arrested, getting arrested. Yep. Yep. Let's go. Second, obviously, I'm gonna give yeah. you guys a report for this whole entire incident. All right. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. When I talk to you, okay, you guys can go back over. Yeah, there. that's fine. We'll be back over. All right, boys. Well, the cops just uh, took my phone. It was Actually. my main phone, unfortunately. And it was my main phone, unfortunately. That's what I get for putting the screenshots on my main phone, not the trap phone. Yada yada yada. Live and learn. But, um, that's it. But, uh, you know, we got that guy arrested. Um, we don't know what's going to happen to him. Should be able to get my phone back tomorrow after the detectives look at it and all that. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. That's, that's going to be a cut, boys. Let's, let's go get fucking drunk.